walking in and feeling that energy in that room was incredible. There were little kids, uh, older people, uh, wheelchairs, uh, balloons. There was just so many different pieces of like our community and, and just like a lot of positive energy and love. Kay Keenan was phenomenal, her comments. I was listening back uh, at the door trying to hear. I, I, I heard most of what she said, and I think part of why her message was so strong to me was number one, she connected uh, back to, you know, work that we had done years ago. Today, Lisa and I are both founders in the Delaware Fund for Women, a group whose mission is to empower women and girls in Delaware so they can achieve their full potential. In my mind, that sums up what Lisa does well. She always is working toward helping all of us to achieve our full potential. The focus on women in business is really important. I mean, you know, if, if part of my candidacy is about people having opportunities. And so when women or are able to support their families, when women are able to live their purpose, um, whether it's starting their own business or whether it's you know, being good at the job that you're in and having opportunities, that's a great thing. So, so it was good to have somebody like Kay Keenan, who has been a champion for women, to be there to really help the crowd understand the significance and the historical nature of this, but also the whole part about, you know, we have to support each other, whether it's giving each other the money to be able to run these kind of elections, uh, voting for each other, but also supporting each other. And um, that, that's what Kay really did in, in giving her remarks. And so, so I really appreciated it. And, and you know, again, she um, herself has been a real champion for women. What I found was that Emily's List, the nation's largest organization dedicated to electing Democratic women, is supporting Lisa. <laughs> Margaret Rose Henry is like, uh, I, I call her my political godmother. Um, she is a person that I truly admire because she's had to face some tough, tough battles from people who are close to her and people who never even knew her. And she took on a lot of tough issues. You know, we worked together when uh, she was in the Senate and I served in different capacities in state government and we took on, took on tough issues like needle exchange and things that weren't popular, you know. And she always cared and even if it was hard, she just kept doing it. You know, there's a, there's a saying in uh, the movie Finding Nemo, the little fish says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And, and to me, that's, that's what she does, she, she, she keeps doing the hard work, and she, she's an inspiration to me. I'll leave you with this quote from Martin Luther King Jr. I have the audacity to believe that people everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, quality, and freedom for their spirits. It's a powerful quote. And I'll tell you, as I was even preparing to give this speech, I prayed, I was like, God, give me a great speech. Give me a dream speech. Give me one of those speeches. But as I was trying to write it, I realized that making history is not about how well we say things or what we look like. It's about being clear in our intention and acting on it together. And I am clear. I want our children to have the best education. I want Delawareans to have good paying jobs and own prosperous businesses. I want our cops and communities to come together for a common purpose of building strong and safe communities. And I want us to have equal pay for equal work and not feel fear from guns. And I don't want to see someone homeless or living on the streets or without a place to go when they're sick because as I said, some congressperson doesn't like President Obama. And most importantly, most importantly, 
I want us to love each other. No matter what we label ourselves. Because only with love will things last. So I say to you, Delaware, I ask you all, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah.